it's Saturday. Not just Saturday, but a perfect weather Saturday. Bluebird sky, low humidity, and 65 degrees. Perfect weather for riding, but I'm not on a bike today. I'm in a kayak, but I'm still having IT band problems. You know, I thought I was okay because a week after it flared up, which has been, gosh, probably three or four weeks ago when I first had the issue flare back up, the week after it, I did a 70 mile gravel ride and I could kind of feel it at the end of the ride. It wasn't perfect, but the last five miles, I would not say it was painful. It was just a little uncomfortable. And I knew I was going to be off the bike for a week for our ski trip. So I didn't really think it was a big deal. And I went skiing, did not bother me one bit skiing. It's just a different motion. You're standing up more, your legs aren't doing the, the motion like you get with cycling or running. And so, you know, like I said, I was off the bike for a whole week, came back, did a two hour gravel ride the day after I got back, felt it a tiny bit, wasn't bad, didn't think much of it, rode all during the week, which were shorter rides. And I did a ride yesterday. So today's Saturday, yesterday was Friday. I had the day off for Good Friday. And I did 40 miles on the gravel, I mean 40 minutes on the gravel bike got to the trailhead, switched to the mountain bike because I keep my mountain bike at the office. Got on the mountain bike and about an hour into the ride on the mountain bike, it started to bother me and it just got worse. Got back to the office, switched back over to the gravel bike and then about a mile into it, I called someone to come pick me up. And I was only like maybe five miles from the house. I probably could have made it, but you know, again with IT band, you just want to stop. So needless to say, I'm frustrated. And the plan now is I'm gonna take two days off the bike and then I'm only going to ride the mountain bike for at least a week, maybe two. So Tuesday night, we're picking up our Tuesday Night Worlds, which is our kind of group ride that's a race pace. We'll see how it does. I may ride Monday easy on the mountain bike and then like I said, Tuesday hard. And we'll see how it does. You know, usually when it flares up, it's only on the gravel bike. So I'm gonna just take time off the gravel bike. Hopefully I'll be okay on the mountain bike. And then, like I said, two weeks on the mountain bike. So I'll see what it's like to uh, go back to only have a mountain bike, which I, I did many years ago. The only reason I got into gravel riding is a buddy of mine was selling a cyclocross bike, a giant TCX alloy cyclocross bike. So I got it and started gravel riding and that's how I got into it. That was probably like, gosh, six years ago. So I've been gravel riding and cyclocross racing a lot since then but I'm gonna go back to only having a mountain bike for at least a week or two maybe even longer we'll see I'm not gonna get back on the gravel bike until I can do a long ride on the mountain bike like four hours you know do like either a long dirt road ride on the mountain bike see how it does like I said in my first video where I talked about the IT band flaring up you know the, the reason I think it's only the gravel bike is it's either the Q factor you know the pedals being narrower being bent down lower, I did lower my saddle. I did raise the stem up just a little bit, a couple millimeters. I am gonna lower my saddle even more and I'm gonna get a professional bike fit. I've done it before, many years ago, it's been a while. I wanna see kind of what they recommend for saddle height. You know, like I, the video I just uploaded about saddle height, the general range is 25 to 35 degrees. I'm right about 30. I'm gonna to go to 35 degrees, maybe even 40 degrees. I don't care if I lose a little bit of efficiency. I just want to ride. I did watch a video recently of a bike fit guy who said dynamically, in other words, when you're pedaling, the angle could be like 33 to 45 degrees, I think he said. So, you know, it kind of makes sense. It just depends on your own biomechanics. It depends on your, your build. I've mentioned this before. My legs are shaped a little funny because of being in a brace when I was a kid. And so my knees don't touch. When I put my feet together, my knees don't touch. It's not bow-legged. It's just the underneath my knees where my shins are, my feet go out. And so that puts some stress on my IT bands. But at least I get to get out and kayak. Uh, I have to get out when it's this nice. Uh, I, I'm, I'm really glad I have kayaking. Uh, fortunately, I live in a state that's probably the best flat water kayaking state that I know of. I mean, from rivers to lakes to oceans, it's got everything for flat water kayaking. I've been paddling up river today and into the headwind up river. I've only been averaging like three miles an hour. Uh, the river has been really flowing strong. It gets higher in the winter here. And so it flows faster. 
and it's been a little bit of a, a, a grind getting up river. It's time to turn around and head back down and just enjoy the, uh, the current going downstream. So if my ride Monday and Tuesday bothers my IT band, especially the Tuesday night ride, then I'm just gonna have to take one full week off the bike, maybe two full weeks, uh, maybe just completely reset. Uh, like I said, get a bike fit during that time. Do, you know, listen, I've been doing uh, a kind of a IT band strength training for at least three or four years. One that I found on YouTube that's really good. It's got about six or seven exercises where you're strengthening the hips and the gluteus medius, I think it is, um, which is a muscle that can be weak in cyclists. I've been doing that. I've been stretching, foam rolling. I've been, I've been doing this, I, like I said, but the first time I really had a serious IT band issue that affected my cycling was eight or 10 years ago. And I've mentioned it before, I was off the bike for eight months. It doesn't feel anything like that. This just feels more irritated versus injured. Uh, but I still, you know, like I said, if, if it really bothers me this week, then I'm gonna have to take a week or two off the bike and kayak and hike, probably do some walking. Walking doesn't seem to bother it. Fortunately, it doesn't really bother me off the bike. I can kind of feel it today if I move my leg a certain way, but I just gotta ice it and stretch it and do all the stuff that I know I need to do. And if it still bothers me, then I'll get in to see uh, a PT or an ortho guy or something. Uh, so that's where I'm at. Like I said, I'll just kind of let y'all know the progress. I may get back to some more bike maintenance videos that I haven't done in a long time just because I've been so busy, but I'm gonna keep making videos, keep making vlogs, let you know how I'm doing with the IT band. Down river, and we are cruising now. One of the best parts about going back down river is just stop paddling and float and enjoy the peace and quiet other than the birds singing it's awesome You know, there are actually people in a gym today, inside, working out. That's one thing I'll never understand. All right, y'all, that'll wrap it up for this video. I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.